friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Wolo. I want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel. I love to share useful information about life in Canada and everything I know about Canada, coming to Canada as a student, coming to Canada as a permanent resident, every information I know, I love to share that information because I know it's going to be beneficial to anybody who sees my videos. So today I will be sharing information for students because I have received so many emails um, concerning coming to Canada as a student, especially with regards to getting um, a postgraduate work permit and then low cost of tuition and scholarships. So I'll be dwelling in these three areas and also cost of living as a student. I will um, try as much as possible to make them very brief so that the videos don't go too long. And uh, so I will start with the designated learning institute. Um, like I mentioned in my previous, uh, one of my videos I talked about, I'll be leaving the link um, at the end of this video. So for people who want to come to school in Canada, there are certain things you, sh you should know. One of them is if your school is a designated learning institute. So I'll be showing you shortly where you can go to on the Government of Canada website to ensure that your school is a designated learning institute because not all schools in Canada are designated learning institutes and not all schools give postgraduate work permits because the goal of you coming to school in Canada is to become, uh, is to get a postgraduate work permit at the end of the day, uh, which will give you enough time to prepare for yourself to get a permanent resident status. So if that is the aim, it is important to know um, the school that you are applying to so you don't just waste your money paying application fees to schools that are not designated learning institutes or schools that um, do not give postgraduate work permits so i'll be showing you that shortly and then i'll move over to the next um, um, topic so this is the government of canada webpage. it's www.canada.ca um, if you scroll down, you click on immigration and citizenship because coming to Canada as a student is under immigration. And then you click on study and then you click on get a study permit. You click on how to apply. So this is what it says, how to apply. Before you apply for a study permit, you need an acceptance letter from a designated learning institution. So I'll click on the designated learning institution list. And then it takes me straight to where I can um, show, you, show you the schools that are in the designated learning institutions list. You can, you can go back and read the details on postgraduate work permit um, because it says not all designated learning institutions make you eligible for the postgraduate work permit program. So you scroll down and then you see, it says view list by province or territory. Um, let's start with Alberta. Let's say Alberta. You're looking for a school in Alberta. You want to know if the school is a designated learning institute or institution rather. Um, you can see the heading says name of institution, designated learning institution number, city campuses, offers postgraduate work permit eligible programs. This particular school says no, but this one, which is absolute aviation, says yes. They offer postgraduate work permits. If you scroll down more, you see this one is also saying yes. The others are saying no. So all the schools here you see here, they are saying no. They don't offer postgraduate work permits. So you have to watch out. If you don't want to work in Canada, then these are the schools you can apply to. But if you want to work after studies in Canada, you have to deliberately search for um, schools that have or that offer postgraduate work permit. So you have this one, this Bible college here, and then you have Ambrose University in Calgary. They offer postgraduate work permit. Um, Athabasca University is in Athabasca. They do offer postgraduate work permit. And then um, go to the third one. Bow Valley College, they do. Borman University, they offer postgraduate work permit. All these other schools that do not offer postgraduate work permit, you should not bother um, applying to them for studies. So this is what you should know about designated learning institutions. You must consult this list 
before you send in your application to study in any of the universities in Canada or colleges or schools in Canada. It is important you conduct you sorry, it's important you consult this list so that you are sure that after your studies that you will be eligible for a postgraduate work permit. The second thing I would like to talk about is low tuition. And um, that is because um, a lot of people have been asking where are the schools that have low tuition in Canada? So this is one thing I want you to know. Most of the schools that have low tuition in Canada are located in a province that are expensive. So you just have to, there is no way to wiggle it out. Like um, you, you, you cannot say, okay, I am going to this school because it has low tuition, whereas the cost of living in that particular location is very high. I'll give you a typical example of Simon Fraser University. So Simon Fraser University is in British Columbia and they have campuses in Burnaby um, and Vancouver and one other place. I can't remember the third campus, but they have low tuition for certain courses. And then even with the low tuition, the cost of living in Vancouver alone is high, which automatically cancels out the low tuition you're paying. So that's one thing you should know. It's, it's either you're paying low, low tuition fees and you're living in an expensive province or you're paying the normal tuition for international students, which is between $12,000 to $14,000. And you're living in a province that is um, low cost or low cost of living. Um, uh, so those are the things you need to consider. You, you, can, you will decide, okay, I want to go for a low tuition school and then pay so much money for cost of living. Whereas you can just choose a school that has the normal tuition for international students and then um, live in an environment with low cost of living. So those are the two things. So I can't totally say, oh, these are the schools that have low tuition. Whereas the cost of living in those places are very high. Another university that has low tuition is Memorial University in Newfoundland and Labrador. So Memorial University has low tuition. The cost of living in Newfoundland and Labrador is not so low. It's just moderate, but they have low tuition. So those are the two schools I can mention. So in subsequent videos, I will be talking about scholarships for international students, and I'll show you the website where you can get the information from, and also talk about the cost of living as a student. And um, I am aware, very much aware that a lot of students who are applying to come to Canada, especially from Nigeria, they've been receiving a lot of um, denials for study permit. And I'll be discussing the reasons why these denials are ongoing so that you can learn. And before you put in your application to come to Canada as a student, there are so many things you need to know and then um, ask yourself if you are completely ready to come to Canada as a student or you just shelve the idea and focus on immigrating to Canada. Thank you so much for watching and have a good week. Bye-bye.